Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is my review of IDFrag, an application from Coriolis Systems priced at £22.94. Now before I show you the application itself, just want to draw your attention to their website which can be found at coriolis-systems.com and I just want to talk you through some of the main features of this application. Now IDFrag has full support for Mac OS 10.5 Leopard it also works with your time machine backups as well so if you want to defragment those time machine hard drives so they work at their absolute peak condition then this application does support that. It also supports hot zone and what that is is Mac OS X puts the files you use the most in a particular place on your hard disk so that it can access them really quickly. Well IDFrag understands this concept and it knows which file should be in this hot zone. It also has a very nice feature called thermal monitoring where it actually watches the temperature of your disk so if your hard disk is defragmenting and it, the temperature gets too high the application will pause what it's doing allow the hard disk to cool down and then it will continue with the process of defragmenting your files. There are a lot more features to this application I'm going to switch over to the main user interface now there's a main window here which uh, gives you a graphical display of your files. On the right hand drawer you can actually select which volumes you're working with. You can also get an information panel up here which gives you general information about the file, the data fork and resource fork and there's also a colour coded key uh, pop out window here which shows you the different file types. Now to explain fragmentation in, a, in layman terms basically what it is is when a file is written to your hard disk if there is space it's written in one continuous block as you can see here by these little purple icons representing a journal file if however there isn't enough space for that file to be written all in one block then Mac OS X will write part of the file and then it will look for the next available space and continue writing the file in that next available space showing you this graphical user interface is really a good uh, example of what fragmentation is all of these little squares here represent files and they are scattered all over the hard disk what IDFrag will do is it will shift all of the files up into one continuous block so that your hard disk has to do a lot less work to access the information it requires any white space is actually free space on your hard drive and if you look at these green uh, dark green dots these are volume headers and these light green ones if we look at the key are actually applications and as you can see they're actually quite fragmented as well as the graphical display of how your files are arranged on your hard disk you can also click this statistics tab this tells you the volume contents and volume directory and exactly the percentage of fragmentation on your hard drive. You can also click across the files and it will show you how these files are spread across your hard drive as well. Using this very top one, this uh, file name points of interest which is part of the iPhoto app actually is spread over 434 different fragmented files rather than being in one continuous block it's quite fragmented so clicking on go would certainly help this file out a lot you can also use different types of uh, algorithms to sort out your files uh, there are five to choose from there's a compact algorithm metadata optimize a quick online defragmentation and also a full defrag. Obviously if you're opting for the full defrag this will take a lot longer to perform. Clicking on go uh, sets the defragmentation uh, process going. You can't actually perform it on the drive that you're booting from but you can create a boot disk and boot from that and then actually defragment your boot drive as well. So that's my brief introduction to IDFrag. 
Uh, it's a very accurate display. It's um, a very worthwhile consideration if you must have your Mac running at its peak condition then I can certainly say that it's worth investing the very small price of £22.94 for this application. I've used it over the last month and I can certainly say that it has improved the way in which my Mac performs. Well thanks very much for listening. This has been Dave from geekanoids.co.uk. Come back soon and check out more video reviews. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.